mitosis. Mitosis is the cell division in which two identical daughter cells are produced by the division of one parent cell. Mitotic division ensures that all the cells of an individual are genetically identical to each other and to the original fertilized egg. The most important aspect of mitosis is that the same normal chromosome number is maintained at each cell division. Just before the division of the cell, it prepares for this change and doubles the quantity of DNA that is the chromosome substance. This is the interface as seen in the figure. Apparently the resting phase since no change in chromosomes is visible externally but actually it is quite active in synthesizing the DNA. Phases of Mitosis Mitosis occurs in four main phases although each of these phases merges into the next phase thereby making it a continuous process. The four phases of mitosis are first prophase, second metaphase, third anaphase and fourth telophase. By and large the four phases of mitosis are similar in both animal and plant cells. However, we are first describing the mitotic stage in an animal cell. Differences between mitosis in animal and plant cell. 1. In animals, asters are formed, while in plants, asters are not formed. 2. Cytokinesis occurs by furrowing of cytoplasm in animals, whereas in plants, cytokinesis occurs by cell plate formation. 3. Mitosis in animals occurs in most tissues throughout the body for growth and replacement, whereas mitosis occurs in plants mainly at the growing tips for lengthening and sides for increase in girth. Karyokinesis in mitotic cell 1. Prophase Prophase marks the beginning of cell division. It is the longest phase of mitosis. During this phase, chromatin material starts condensing into distinct thread-like chromosomes. Since chromosomes get duplicated during interphase, each chromosome has two thread-like chromatids, seen in the figure. By the end of prophase, each chromosome appears to have two identical chromatids, which are attached only at the centromere. Centrosome or centriole divides into two and these start moving apart to the opposite poles of the cell. Fine microtubules called astral rays radiate out from each daughter centriole. The centriole with its astral rays forms an aster. In plant cells, the centrioles and astral rays are lacking. Microtubules between the two asters form a spindle. The equator of spindle lies at the center of the cell. By the end of prophase, the nucleolus and nuclear membrane disappear. Metaphase Metaphase is marked by the arrangement of chromosomes on the equator of spindle. Chromosomes are the shortest and thickest in metaphase. Chromosomes line up on the equator of spindle with their centromeres on the equator and arms towards poles of the spindle. Spindle fibers are attached to the centromeres of the chromosomes. Anaphase 
anaphase is marked by the migration of chromosomes towards poles. The centromere of each chromosome divides and the two sister chromatids now form two daughter chromosomes. The daughter chromosomes start moving apart. The contraction of spindle fibers pulls or drags them away from the equator towards the opposite poles. The chromosomes assume V, J, or L shape while being pulled towards the poles. Telophase During telophase, chromosomes form two groups, one on either pole of the spindle. Chromosomes uncoil and form chromatin net. Spindle and astral rays disappear. Nuclear envelope and nucleolus reappear, completing the formation of two daughter nuclei. Cytokinesis in mitotic cell. Cytokinesis in animal cells. In animal cells, Cytoplasm divides by constriction which begins on the equator and gradually deepens and converges on all the sides. It finally pinches off the parent cell into two daughter cells. Cytokinesis is the division of cytoplasm following the nuclear division so that the parent is divided into two daughter cells. The process of cytokinesis is different in plant and animal cells. Cytokinesis in plant cells In plant cells, a cell plate is formed at the equator of spindle by the fusion of vesicles that are produced by the dictosome. Cell plate formation begins from the middle and proceeds towards the periphery that is, centrifugal. The primary walls are deposited on either side of the cell plate. Significance of mitosis 1. Growth or increase in the body size due to formation of new cells in the tissues. 2. Repair of damaged and wounded tissues by renewal of the lost cells. 3. Replacement of the old and dead cells, such as the replacement of the blood cells and the epidermal cells of the skin. 4. Asexual reproduction, in which the unicellular organisms, such as amoeba or the yeast cell, divide into two. 5. Maintains same chromosome number in daughter cells. Meiosis 1. Reduction Division All sexually reproducing organisms undergo meiosis, either for the purpose of gamete formation or to reduce the diploid cells to a haploid condition. Two consecutive divisions occur here. Meiosis produces the sex cells or the gametes. It takes place in the reproductive organs, testis and ovary in humans to produce sperms and ova. In the flowering plants, it takes place in the anthers and the ovary to produce pollen grains and ovules. The most significant aspect of meiosis, meiosis, that is diminution, is that the number of chromosomes in the sex cells is halved. For example, out of the 23 pairs of chromosomes in humans, only single chromosomes, that is one member of each pair, haploid, are passed on to the sex cells. This is essential because when the male and female gametes fuse during fertilization, the normal double that is diploid number of chromosomes in pairs is reacquired. The diploid number as a rule 
is expressed as 2n and the haploid number as n. First meiotic division. Homologous chromosomes replicate in two sister chromatids during interphase. Each homologous pair is showing four chromatids collectively called tetrad. During pairing, chiasmata formation takes place. Some chromatids of homologous chromosomes break and rejoin at points of intersection called chiasmata. At these points, exchange of chromosomal material between the non-sister chromatid takes place. This is also called crossing over, seen in the figure. This leads to a new combination of genes in the sex cells, hence variation. Second meiotic division. In meiosis second, the two daughter cells of meiosis undergo mitosis. The two chromatids of each chromosome separate and results into four haploid cells. Equational division. The phase of meiosis second are grouped as prophase second, metaphase second, anaphase second, and telophase second. The events that take place during each phase are illustrated in the figure. During meiosis second, both the haploid daughter cells divide simultaneously by mitosis. The two chromatids of each chromosome become independent chromosomes and are separated into two daughter nuclei. Thus, at the end of second meiotic division, four haploid daughter cells are formed. Significance of meiosis 1. Chromosome number is halved in gametes, sex cells, so that on fertilization, the normal number, 2n, is restored. 2. The maternal and paternal chromosomes get mixed up during the first, that is, reduction division, as they separate from the homologous pair, resulting in genetic recombination. Comparison between mitosis and meiosis 1. Mitosis occurs in somatic cells, while meiosis occurs in the reproductive cells of the body. 2. Mitosis produces cells for growth and tissue repair, while meiosis produces gametes. 3. In mitosis, two daughter cells are formed, while in meiosis, four daughter cells are formed. 4. In mitosis, each daughter cell is diploid, while in meiosis, each daughter cell is haploid. 5. In mitosis, each daughter cell is genetically identical to the parent cell, while in meiosis, each daughter cell is genetically different from the parent cell. 6. In mitosis, crossing over does not occur, whereas in meiosis, crossing over occurs during prophase. 7. In mitosis, chromosome duplication is followed by single nuclear division, while in meiosis, chromosome duplication is followed by two nuclear divisions. 8. In mitosis, the chromosomes and genes in each daughter cell are identical, whereas in meiosis, the chromosomes and genes are randomly assorted between the gametes. This results in genetic variation. 9. Mitosis requires lesser time, while meiosis requires longer time.